I did a new waste of my boss on the way. Movies is going to be premiering during it when, I'm on, when I'm on the vacation. But I never really talked about the most overrated movies. Yep, despite the being of underrated movies list, there is definitely a foul lot of movies that I consider overrated, overhyped, and overliked. Yes, there'll be some quote unquote classics on here, but I don't view every movie as a classic, obviously. That's because you like the movie doesn't mean I like the movie. And I think some of these opinions you'll be very familiar with if you watch my videos regularly. But some of these are newer ones, newer opinions on movies. And, of course, I'll be going over all of the opinions. So, number one. I think this is the most familiar one, so I'll start with someone with an opinion that people know. I despise the Incredibles franchise. Whether or not it's the first movie or the second one, I despise them both. I hate both of them. When people talk about the greatest anime movies, these always come up. Always come up as the greatest animated movies of all time, especially the first one. I think both of the movies are boring, not fun, not great, generic villains, generic characters. People are like, oh, but the family, you know, bond is so great, but there's other movies that do it much better than this movie. That's the only good part about the movie. The rest of the scenes, especially the first one, the animation in the first one sucks. The, see, the characters are kind of boring. Some scenes, you know, like, for example, there's that scene in Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is a neo exec thing. Well, the same thing happens in The Incredibles. It's not really original. The Incredibles is basically a terrible parody of The Avengers, a terrible parody of Justice League, and, of course, the most one I compare it to is Fantastic Four. And the movie I compare The Incredibles to is, of course, Civil War. <clears throat> well, it's the second movie was trying to be more like Civil War. Ha, huh, it was just... Why? Why is this movie so beloved? I keep asking myself every time I think of this movie, why are people so obsessed with The Incredibles? I just can't get it. I just can't understand why people like this movie so much. So that's number one of The Incredibles. So that's number one, most overrated movies of all time. Number two, most overrated movies of all time is Little Women. I hate, I don't have, I hate this movie even more than, than The Incredibles. The fact that this movie was nominated for Best Picture, nominated for Best Picture, is the biggest problem with this movie. This is one of the most boring movie and doll movies ever made. This is based off a book I know is very popular, but uh, the characters were not that great. The cinematography with everybody praised was not that great, and... It's just uh, another terrible adaptation. Another terrible adaptation. That's all it really is. Another terrible adaptation that we do not need. It's like, you know, you know what? We'll go come up with this, you know. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's make another Little Woman adaptation. Like, people really liked another Little Woman adaptation. No, people. I did not like it. I, I ranked it as my least favorite. Of all of the best Pixar nominees. I think this is my least favorite one. Because I think it is genuinely the worst nominated movie. Probably in a while for best Pixar. Since The Shape of Water of course. And. How is this, how is this nominated for best Pixar? How? How is this nominated for best Pixar? That's my real question. Okay. And then everybody says this movie's a masterpiece. You have all these quote-unquote movie critics calling this movie a masterpiece. Okay? The movie, and they're saying it's one of the saddest movies of all time, too. Okay? I said Up was overrated for being sad, but I didn't give a crap about any of the characters in this movie, so this movie was not sad. A sad movie, you actually have to give a crap about the characters. Okay? There are other movies that came out this year. Okay, Endgame and Five Feet Apart both have, you know, both are... Both have sad moments, especially five feet apart. Those movies are much better in terms of emotional care, emotional storylines than Little Woman, than this movie, than this overhyped pile of garbage. Simple as that. Overhyped garbage that everybody loves for some reason, and absolutely just yeah, one of the worst movies of 
one of my least favorite movies of 2019. And so, and here's some movies that I think are better than Little Woman. Wonder Woman 1984, Zeo Storm, and Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. So I think it probably have seen both the Incredibles movies as well. So, take that with that. So, number three, most overrated movies, has to be Spider-Man Homecoming. I don't really hate Spider-Man Homecoming. I think it's still a good movie. But Spider-Man Homecoming is pretty boring at times. It's pretty slower paced. Like, I know a lot of people love this movie. And love the MCU Spider-Man movies. But I just do not think this movie is better than Spider-Man Far From Home. A lot of people think that this is the best, one of the best Spider-Man movies ever made. It is not. It is not one of the best Spider-Man movies ever made. I tried re-watching it again. I was like, really? I, have, I, I call this movie a masterpiece in the past. And I watched this movie like two or three times. I watched Far From Home like four, like five or six times. Far From Home was much more watchable than this movie. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell, again to tell you. Far From Home is a much better movie than Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming, I think, is one of the most overrated Marvel movies of all time. I was going to put Black Panther on here, but again, I think you already know I don't like Black Panther that much. So, the new overrated MCU movie is Spider-Man Homecoming, which is very overrated. Number four is Missing Impossible. Yep, I'm just going to put the whole franchise on this list. I don't care. I watched the first two. I was not very impressed. I watched the last one. I liked the last one. But the first two, I wasn't very impressed with these movies. The action scenes were kind of boring. The characters were kind of boring. The plot was kind of boring. It was not a good both of them. Mission Impossible one and two. I, I of course there's four more. There's three more movies left I have to watch. But judging based off the first two movies, they were not good. They these movies aged abysmally. Mission Impossible one and two abysmally. These movies aged abysmally. That's what they did. I know a lot of people have nostalgia for the first movies. Mrs. Possible 1, Mrs. Possible 2, Mrs. Possible well, 3, and Mrs. Possible Goes Forward on Rogue Nation. But people who have nostalgia for the series, I don't really have nostalgia for the series. I don't really care for these movies. I know I love action movies. I love a lot of action movies. But Mrs. Possible missed on everything when it comes to movies. It missed out on everything. When it comes to movies. This movie was incredibly overrated. The whole series. The whole franchise. Incredibly an overrated movie series. Miss Impossible. Whole franchise. Overrated. Whole franchise. Overrated. Nothing really that amazing about the Miss Impossible franchise. Nothing really that amazing. And people were like, oh my god, you had you had to see Miss Impossible. Why have you been why have you been missing out Miss Impossible? Because it's overrated. It sucks. It's not that great. But yep, there you go. The next movie, number five, we're going to be talking about is another one that you guys know of. I don't like the Lego movie. I despise the Lego movie. I despise this movie. I know everybody loves the Lego movie. I know everybody on the internet. Love this movie. But I do not like it. And I'm not going to see its sequels either. I didn't even like the first one. But this movie got a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. A 7.17 on IMDb. And everybody says it was one of the best animated movies of all time. And here I am saying it's a bad movie. I am dead. Is this, yeah, if you look at the scores on you know, IMDb. A lot of people do not like the. A lot of people love the Lego movie. The average score is around 8 out of 10. I just do not like this movie. I do not like the Wiggle movie. The movie is not smart. The soundtrack sucks. The characters suck. The plot sucks. The sequels suck. Which I'm not going to watch the sequels, but <laughs> same thing again. And most of the younger people love the Wiggle movie. Love the Wiggle movie because they grew up with it. They grew up with the Wiggle movie. This movie came out when I was growing up. I didn't, I didn't care for it. I didn't care. For the Lego movie. I didn't care for this movie. I think it's one of the worst and most overrated animated movies of all time. And. Yep. To me it's just another cash grab. It's another cash grab to sell more Legos. Okay. That's all it really is to me. Number six. 
most overrated movies of all time. Okay, one. Right. Okay. No. Number five, most overrated movies of all time. Oh, actually, right, number six. So, number six, most overrated movies of all time. You all know this movie was gonna be on the list. I just, yeah, I can't make it. I can't do one without this movie. So, yep, number six is gonna be okay. Number six is gonna be Zootopia. I when I watched this movie in the theater, I didn't care for it. I didn't care for Zootopia. I just didn't care. So, so Zootopia is basically a furry's, you know, basically what a furry. Would want in a movie, basically. And there have been many numerous attempts to copy Zootopia. There was a Donkey King and several other movies, basically making anthropomorphic animals, you know, living together in an area and stuff. And Zootopia, this movie has an 8 out of 10 on IMDb. An 8 out of 10 on IMDb. You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. An 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10. On IMDb. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. This has an 8 out of IMDb. Okay. I saw this movie in the feeders even. I thought it was boring. Uninteresting. And just bad characters. Especially the twist villain. A twist villain. The Seep character was awful. I have not seen this movie since 2016. I still remember, I didn't like this movie. I didn't care for it that much. It still has some good parts in it. But it's not a movie I definitely would want to watch again. I may never want to watch again. Because I didn't like Zootopia. And it, is, it might not even be the last Disney movie on the list. Number 7. Up. I know. I think the whole overweightness comes from how, how people view this movie. I think Up is an incredibly overrated movie about a... Guy who just wants to go to a place in South America because his wife died. I know people see it, but you know, it's a relationship. But I, I, there's much better movies about relationships, sips, and the relationship has a sad ending. Okay, much better movies. I'll co- I'll think of a few movies. Okay, the first movie is Five Feet Apart. That movie was definitely much sadder than Up. Definitely much sadder than Up. Okay, you can go to video games. Super Paper Mario was definitely much sadder than Up. So Up is not the saddest medium ever made. Titanic was sadder than Up. Okay? I know people made fun of Titanic, but Titanic was a sadder movie than Up. In- Endgame, Iron Man's death, Tony Stark's death, sadder than the entire movie of Up. Okay? Like, I'm really gonna be, oh my god, so sad because these people died of old age. Like, I'm really gonna... And people say that Pixar has the saddest movies of all time. Of all time. The movies about freaking the Holocaust. But Up is the saddest movie of all time because of the first 10 minutes of the movie. Okay? No, it is not. It is not the saddest movie of all time. It is not one of the greatest animated movies of all time. It is a mediocre animated movie that is overrated by Disney fanboys and Disney, you know... Fanboys, aren't you? That's why there's a lot of anime. That's why half of this list has been animated movies. Because you know when most of these movies are? They're made by freaking Disney. But, but Pixar, the simple studio, no, there's no freaking Disney. Disney owns Pixar. Disney owns fucking Pixar. So you can't make that fucking excuse to say it's not Disney. It's still owned by fucking Disney. Okay? Overrated. Not good characters. Boring. Which is something I don't like from a movie. And overall, not a fun movie. Not a good movie. Nothing good is about this movie. Okay? And everybody says it's one of the greatest movies of all time. It was even nominated for Best Pixar. Really? Best Pixar? So you're telling me it is equal to all the other best movies of the year. It is just absolutely absurd this, the hype and overweightedness this movie has gotten. It is not one of the greatest animated movies of all time. If I put it in a tier, if I put a tier list there, I would put it in middle tier. Middle tier. And this is, this is gonna piss off the Pixar fanboys, I don't care. They can just like this video all I want, but it's my, these are my opinions. And you're warned before clicking on this video. 
That's because overrated movies. So, number eight is fucking First Man. Oh my god, this movie was boring as hell. So, First Man is a movie. It had a controversy around it as well with the American flag thing. But I didn't even make it to that part because you know what? First Man is just too boring. Super boring. It is 2000 World Space Odyssey, but worse. Okay, I found 2000 World Space Odyssey was the most boring and, you know, tiring movies I've ever seen. First Man, it's even worse. It's even worse. This movie got 87% on the Rotten Tomatoes and 7.3 out of IMDb. And, and, and I thought I was surprised it wasn't nominated for Best Picture. Because, you know what this movie is? It's just boring the movie. It's even more boring than 2000 World Space Odyssey. Who would have been surprised? Who would have been surprised at a movie? And I, I like, you know, you know, movie. I do like some more slower paced movies. Some more movies that have less action. You know, Joker is one of them. Joker is not really an action movie. But I still like the Joker movie. And I like a lot of other movies that are not really about the action. It's more about the story. Okay. But this movie is not a good movie. This movie is called Boredom the Movie. That's what it's be called, because it's a boring and uninteresting movie. And it's supposed to be, I like a lot of historical type movies too. I like a lot of historical movies. Movies about history, movies about, you know, one about history, but they made this movie so boring. Super boring. Okay, so much better than movies than this, okay? I've, I've not seen movies like Gravity or Interstellar, but I bet they're probably much better than First Man. Okay, this movie, incredibly boring. Incredibly not fun to watch. Incredibly, you know, not a good movie. And they say it's one of the best movies of the year. Absolutely face bomb every time I hear that. Because it's not one of the best movies of the year. It is one of the worst movies of that year. So, yep, that's the, that's the next one. One. So the next most overrated movie of all time. Is was that really necessary? Nope, it was not. The next most overrated movie of all time has to be. The next overrated movie is Tron. I do not like Tron. <clears throat> so Tron is a very very old movie. I know. So I'm not gonna say how I'm not gonna say how bad the CGI is and stuff because it is a pretty old movie. It came out in 1982, but this. Is considered a great film. According to at least the teacher I, you know, when, when we went to school, I, there was a film class. So I went took the film class. And according of all the sci-fi movies they picked, the Star Wars is understandable. Star Wars is a classic. But Tron? This is a classic? I just absolutely. This is considered a classic, okay, of sci-fi movies? I know it was one of the first. Sci-fi movies ever made. The one of the first actually big sci-fi movies ever made. But this one of the best of all time? You gotta be joking. Okay? There are a lot of better sci-fi movies than this movie. Okay? That isn't of course Star Wars. Okay? Arita Battle Angel, Ready Player One, <laughs> Independence Day, you call you know Independence Day Alien 1 and 2. Uh, the Tomorrow War that just came out that's better in this movie. There was whole every Marvel movie basically, you know, is a sci-fi movie. So that's all the entire Marvel, all, every, even Captain Marvels better than than this movie. And that's saying something. Even freaking Captain Marvel, the worst MCU movie, is better than Swan. Swan had an unseen plot, a boring premise. Oh, but it's about people in a video game. But Ray Player One did that much better. Twenty years later, thirty years later. Okay, Ready Player One did that much better 30 years later. Munzee did that much better 30 years later. Okay, this movie is, I know this is considered a classic by many people, but it's, and people are like, oh, but technology of course improved. Edge of Tomorrow, better sci-fi movie. Pacific Rim, better sci-fi movie. Okay, and I own most of those movies, except for Tomorrow War. Terminator series, better sci-fi. Even the worst Terminator movies are better. Even the worst alien movies are better than this. Even, you know, <laughs> some of the worst 
of them all. Some of the worst sci-fi movies, like right, uh, like uh, you know, Star Wars, you know that that's how it was. Transformers, you know, The Last Knight and Revenge of the Fallen, are better than this movie. <laughs> and this is what's so great about Tron. It's one of the worst sci-fi movies ever made. The characters look ridiculous. This movie is just ridiculous as a whole. It's just people just running, running around and wearing Christmas lights, and. So Monty did a much better concept of like people going to a vi- arcade or a video game. And that was done 40 years later. So Monty was much better in this movie. But they play one was much better in this movie as well. So if you want to watch movies about people being stuck in a computer game, let's watch those instead. Don't watch Tron. Don't watch this movie or thing that Disney released. It's ironic it's another Disney movie on this list. Ironic. It's another Disney movie on this list. Not surprising at all. No, I think the, uh, okay. Uh, okay, how many did we do? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so we did nine movies. So, number ten, what is the number tenth most overrated movie of all time? Well, number 10 is Marty Python and the Holy Grail. I actually like, this is this is one of the few movies on this list I actually like. Marty Python and the Holy Grail is a very funny movie. I'm not going to tell you it isn't funny. But the top 10s is the reason why Marty Python and the Holy Grail is on this list. According to the top 10s, it is the funniest movie of all time. I know comedy is suggestive. Okay, but of all time, so that means everyone agrees it is the best of the best. I know that list doesn't really have that many, you know, votes, but it's the best, it is considered the funniest movie of all time. I think there are many more movies that are funnier than Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I do like this movie a whole ton, but people are saying it's the pure comedy, the best comedy of. All time. All time. Time. And people are asking, like, oh, I haven't seen this movie that was so funny in my life. He was so funny, but so stupid. But they did it on purpose. Make sure, but this is just like a while here. And this is movie is tied of Happy Gilmore with the most overrated comedy of all time. Happy, you know, Gilmore. Yo. Yo. And. Yeah. I get this is a classic comedy. But in terms of 80s and 90s comedies, there are much better comedies. Okay. For example, Uncle Buck, Caddy Sack, better comedy in the 80s. Ace Ventura, 90s, 80s. Bob Jim Carrey's classic movies. But there are not many movies that are better than this. So, Airplane's better. Obviously, we, and a few others. But of all time, and we're not even counting movies from the 2000s, 2010s, as well, like Kung Pao, or what, animated movies, you know. And let's not forget Tom and Jerry is funnier. Not the, new, not the movie, the original cartoons. Okay. And, and of course, Deadpool. We're talking about newer movies. Captain Underpants, the Ice Age series, as well. Boss Baby, I think the Boss Baby is funnier than this movie. And a few other movies that made me laugh more than this movie. But we but this movie was still pretty funny. I'm gonna tell you that. This movie was still pretty funny. But still and a, and, a, and but it's not definitely the funniest movie of all time. If you wanna watch a movie that's extremely funny, let's watch any of Jim Carrey's classics. You have a good laugh watching any of those. Or Deadpool. Unless you hate Deadpool the character, then don't watch Deadpool. But I was gonna put this or put Spaceballs, but I put Spaceballs on another list of why uh, Spaceballs is not funny. <laughs> and that's basically about this list. This is my updated list of the most overrated movies of all time. And. Yeah. Let's play on popular opinions. Yens. But. Yo, and that's basically it about this video. Goodbye.